Introduction Hi friends, as we all know that we can see so many things in our surroundings. They are made up of different materials. Some of them are hard in nature and are called metals, while most of them are soft and so they are called non-metals. So in this module, we are going to learn about properties and uses of metals and non-metals. Objectives Friends, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define metals and non-metals. You will also be able to understand the physical properties of metals and non-metals. Besides it, you will be able to describe chemical properties of metals and non-metals. And in addition, you will also be able to explain the uses of metals and non-metals. Hey buddy, what are you doing here? I am flying a kite. It is too light in weight. Yes dear, because it is made up of paper. And do you know that paper is a non-metal item? See there, an aeroplane is also flying high in the sky. It is made up of steel and other metals. But what are these metals and non-metals? Friends, we use many things in our daily lives. These are made up of metals and non-metals. Dear, now let's know about their properties. At first we know about the physical properties. The first property of metal is its malleability. By this property, the metals can be beaten into thin sheets. Non-metals don't show this property. Next property is conduction of heat. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity, while non-metals are poor conductors. The property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires is called ductility. It is the third property of metals. Non-metals don't show ductility. Now let's talk about another property of metals, that is, sonorous. Metals produce ringing sounds when they struck, so are said to be sonorous. The materials other than metals are not sonorous. So friends, by these properties we can say that metals are hard, lustrous, malleable, ductile, sonorous, and good conductors of heat and electricity. Iron, copper, aluminium, calcium, magnesium, etc. are the examples of metals. Non-metals like coal and sulphur are soft, dull, non-ductile, non-sonorous, non-malleable, and poor conductors of heat and electricity. Sulphur, carbon, oxygen, Phosphorus, etc. are the examples of non-metals. Friends, after discussing about physical properties of metals and non-metals, let's know about their chemical properties. Metals like iron, copper, magnesium, etc. react with water and make their oxides. These oxides are basic in nature. Now we talk about the non-metals. Sulfur reacts with oxygen, giving the sulfur dioxide gas. Oxides of non-metals are acidic in nature. Another chemical property of metals is reaction with water. Most metals react with water vigorously or slowly. Sodium is stored in kerosene oil due to its highly reactive nature with air. Non-metals do not react with water. Phosphorus highly reacts with atmospheric oxygen, so it is stored in water. Now let's know about the reaction of metals and non-metals with acids. Metals react with acids and produce hydrogen gas, while non-metals don't react with acids. Friends, you'll be surprised to know that like acids, metals also react with bases and produces hydrogen gas. Non-metals react with bases complexly. Besides these chemical reactions, metals also show the property of displacement reactions. We can see a displacement reaction here in which 
one metal is displaying another metal from its compound. Friends, let's check your understanding by this drag and drop activity. Dear, till now we have learnt that what the physical and chemical properties of metals and non-metals are. Now let's move on another important topic, that is, what are the uses of these metals and non-metals? As we know that metals are hard in nature, so they are used in making machinery, automobiles, aeroplanes, trains, satellites, industrial gadgets, cooking utensils, water boilers, etc. Non-metals are not so hard, so they are used in fertilizers, water purification process, life-supporting air, crackers, and purple-colored solution as an antiseptic on wounds. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Metals are hard, lustrous, and malleable in nature. Metals are ductile, sonorous, and good conductors of heat and electricity. Iron, copper, aluminium, calcium, magnesium, etc. are the examples of metals. Non-metals are soft, dull, and non-ductile in nature. Non-metals are non-sonorous, non-malleable, and poor conductors of heat and electricity. Sulfur, Carbon, oxygen, phosphorus, etc. are the examples of non-metals. Metals react with oxygen to produce metal oxides which are basic in nature. Non-metals react with oxygen to produce non-metallic oxides which are acidic in nature. Some metals react with water to produce metal hydroxides and hydrogen gas while non-metals do not react with water. Metals react with acids and produce metal salts and hydrogen gas. Generally, non-metals do not react with acids. In displacement reaction, more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from their compounds in aqueous solutions. Metals and non-metals are used widely in everyday life. Did you know? Silver, gold and platinum atoms are not easily oxidized. So, silver, gold and platinum simply fall from the anode to the bottom of the tank where they can be scrapped up after the electrolytic refining process is complete. Corrosion Metals that are chemically active get corroded in the presence of a moist atmosphere. Corrosion is an oxidation reaction with atmospheric oxygen in the presence of water on the surface of a metal. For example, Iron and aluminium corrode, however, non-reactive metals like gold, platinum, mercury do not corrode. There are three ways to prevent corrosion. Sacrificial protection, where the more reactive protecting metal is oxidized away, leaving the protected metal intact. Alloying, where metals are mixed with other metals to make non-rusting alloys. Galvanizing, where a metal is covered in thin zinc layer. This layer is produced by electrolytic deposition. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Metals are good conductors of electricity, whereas non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. Metals react with air, water and acids. Metals being arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity is called a reactivity series. The transfer of electron from the atom of an element to the atom of another is called an ionic compound. Metals are extracted from ores. The most widely used method for refining impure metals is called electrolytic refining.